Formerly called Siam, Thailand is a land of diverse cultures. Never conquered by any foreign power, it fully enjoys its independence to this day. Join us as we explore the rich history of this beautiful country and discover why it is called the Land of Smiles. The Thai people, ancestors of the modern Thai people, migrated from northern China and then to northern Vietnam and finally to the area of what is now Thailand some 1,000 years ago. They settled around the river systems that passed through the area. They engaged in subsistence farming, fishing, and forestry. They even domesticated animals for agricultural and ritual use. By the 11th century, they had already begun to form petty kingdoms in what is now present-day Thailand. The Thai eventually came into contact with the Mon Khmer peoples. Between the 6th and 9th centuries, the Mon established several small Buddhist kingdoms within the area encompassed by present-day southern Myanmar and central Thailand. As the Thai moved down south, they encountered more and more civilizations. They met the Khmer people of Cambodia in the 9th century. The Thai were influenced by Khmer architecture as a result, copying the Indianized style of Khmer construction. Customs, ceremonies, and dances followed suit. One famous dance and literature that influenced the famous classical Thai dance was that of the Ramayana. Beginning in the 13th century, the population of the Thai people grew and grew, putting pressure on both the Mon and Khmer kingdoms. A kingdom was eventually established in the 13th century when a local Thai ruler revolted against a Khmer outpost. This kingdom was called the Sukhothai Kingdom. They expanded southwards and even into Myanmar, northeast into Laos, under the rule of Ram Kham Hyeng, who was king of Sukhothai from 1279 to 1298. Most importantly, under his reign, the earliest form of the Thai written language was found in the form of a stone inscription. The Sukhothai period would last from the 13th century to the 15th century. After the Sukhothai period was the longer Ayutthaya period. Much like the Sukhothai, Ayutthaya was born from a revolt against the Khmer, even going as far as managing to sack the city of Angkor in 1431. In 1438, they were able to incorporate the severely weakened Sukhothai into their burgeoning empire. The Ayutthayans brought with them Khmer captives who helped spread Indian concepts and traditions to the Ayutthaya. This included the concept of a god king. This would bring out consequences to how the kingdom was to be governed. The state became centralized, bureaucracy became the norm and a justice system based on Dharma Shastra was established. However, Buddhism also started taking root in the kingdom during this time as well. Many worked in the agricultural fields of the kingdom. The individual paid taxes and provided military service as needed. By the 17th century, European visitors called Ayutthaya one of the richest cities in the world. It became an international trade emporium due to its proximity to the sea. In the 19th century, for the first time in its history, Thailand had to deal with not only its neighbors, but also foreign powers from the West. However, Thai success in preserving the country's independence was in part a result of the desire of Britain and France for a stable buffer state between their dominions in Burma, Malaya, and Indochina. Another thing that helped was the kings Mong Kut and Chula Longkorn, desires to trade with the European nations. This helped modernize the country as well as introducing foreign concepts in governance. According to the World Bank, the GDP of Thailand is valued at $495 billion. In the 1960s, the country was primarily an agricultural nation. The government shifted from an agricultural-based economy to a manufacturing based on textiles, 
consumer goods, and eventually electronic components for export. By the 1980s, Thailand was on a path towards industrialization. Rice production is the main source of income in the agricultural sector. It is one of the world's largest rice exporters. The main commercial rice producing areas of Thailand are the Chow Praya Basin and the Korat Plateau. Animal domestication is also significant in the everyday lives of Thai people. Water buffalo and cattle play an important role in day-to-day -day activities, from plowing fields to rituals. However, due to the increasing mechanization of agriculture, the demand for buffalo is now diminishing. Thailand currently has a thriving tourism industry, most especially in the cities of Bangkok and Phuket. Have you ever been to any of these cities? If so, how was your experience? Let me know in the comments below. The original flag of Thailand, which was in use from the 17th century, was a plain red flag. Today, it features five horizontal stripes, two red, two white, and one blue. The present flag was adopted on September 28, 1917. The colors are understood to stand for the unofficial motto of Thailand, nation, religion, king. The red-colored stripes represent the land and the people. The white represents all the religions in the country, and the blue stands for the monarchy. The capital of Thailand is Bangkok, and the country has a total land area of about 513,000 square kilometers, or 198,000 square miles. The landscape of the country is varied, from mountainous areas to fluvial plains to sandy beaches. The country can be divided into five physiographic regions. The folded mountains in the north and west, the Korat Plateau in the northeast, the Chow Praya River Basin in the center, the maritime corner of the central region in the southeast, and the long, slender peninsular portion in the southwest. The two main rivers that run through the country are the Chow Praya River and the Mekong River. The highest point can be found in Doi Inthanon, which is around 2,600 meters or 8,500 meters above sea level. Thailand has a tropical climate, influenced by seasonal monsoon winds. The average temperature for the northern regions is 26 degrees Celsius or 79 degrees Fahrenheit, while the south enjoys an average temperature of 28 degrees Celsius or 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Thailand has a total population of around 70 million people. The demonym for these inhabitants is Thai. The national language is also called Thai, however there are also other languages present including Burmese and Malay. Thailand is a multicultural country, mostly due to the early influence of Mon and Khmer cultures during its heyday. As such, Traditional Thai literature influences can be traced to Hindu or Buddhist literature. However, Thailand also sports local indigenous literature free from the influences of neighboring powers. One such story with both royal and popular versions is that of Kun Chang and Kun Fayin, two men in competition for the affections of the same woman. And what would Thailand be without its cuisine? Thailand is very well known worldwide for its variety of food. Planning a vacation to Bangkok this year. Here are some dishes you can try out. First off, arguably one of the more famous dishes, we have Pad Thai. An iconic stir-fried noodle dish, it'll leave you wanting more. Made with rice noodles and different toppings, such as seafood, sauces, and veggies, it's as delicious as it is healthy. Originating during World War II as part of a national campaign to reduce rice consumption, pad thai is typically eaten as a quick lunch or dinner. Up next is the famous tom yum gung, a type of sour seafood soup made from an extravagant combination of shallots, lemongrass, mushroom, red chili peppers, lime juice, galangal, and fish sauce. 
Hailing from central Thailand, this soup is often enjoyed as a starter or main course, especially during lunch or dinner. For curry lovers, you can't miss trying the aromatic green curry. This vibrant dish is made with green curry paste, coconut milk, chicken or beef, eggplant and basil, delivering a perfect balance of spicy and sweet flavors. Green curry originates from central Thailand, and is commonly eaten during lunch or dinner. Another must try is Panang curry, a rich and creamy dish made with Panang curry paste, coconut milk, and your choice of meat, typically garnished with finely chopped kaffir lime leaves. This curry comes from central Thailand and is usually enjoyed as a main course for lunch or dinner. Lastly, why not try cow soy? a type of coconut curry noodle soup. This simple but elegant dish can be found in many street food stands all over Thailand. Originating from northern Thailand, khao soy is typically eaten for lunch or dinner. What dish would you like to try out? Thailand is also home to prominent figures, some who have changed the fate of their country, some having cultural significance, and some famous in their own right. Here are a few of them. First off, arguably the most famous Thai today, member of the world-renowned girl group, Blackpink Lalisa Manoban. Tony Ja, famous martial artist, actor, and choreographer known for his role in Ong Bak is also Thai. And lastly, Thaksin, a former king of Thailand who is credited with the re-establishment of the Thai kingdom after the fall of Ayutthaya to the Burmese Empire in 1767. If you enjoyed this video on Thailand, you'll love this next one.